Holy Trinity was founded as a, uh, a place of worship for um, sailors and seafarers on Cow's waterfront. And uh, so we have a tradition dating back to 1832 of looking after people in boats and ships. I, I'm certainly not aware of any other blessing ceremony that has been held here. And in fact, as you probably know, Trinity Landing itself hasn't been in Kauai here until about five years ago. So there wouldn't have been a, a place to hold a ceremony of this sort. But as far as I know, this is the first time there has been a, a service blessing boats and dedicating the season um, in cows. Well, it came about really last year um, when we decided it would be a good plan to have a service of thanksgiving for the end of the season when people could um, say thank you for the lovely times they'd had, safe landfalls, races, races as they'd won and so on. And uh, we had quite a number of people who came from all over the Solent and some from as far away as Oxford and the East Coast and so on. And um, this was a great success and we thought it would be nice to start the season with another ceremony which this time would be blessing boats um, and blessing the whole season, dedicating the season um, because it's a very nice thing if you're in a boat and you are perhaps making a landfall or you've had a rather bad weather forecast and uh, any help you can get um, is very valuable and the feeling that your boat has been blessed will help you to make a better landfall and weather the storm if that's the storm you're going to have. So generally we felt that there was a need for something like this to start the season not only for boat owners but also in cows because um, the whole prosperity of the town inevitably is based on the success of the yachting season. So the shops, they also, um, everything depends upon sailing in cows and the success of the season depends upon the right weather and the right kind of atmosphere and that's something which the Almighty can help us all with. Those who go down to the sea um, it is so often said, isn't it, that we live in a secular society, but if you talk to people that go to sea, so often they say that there's something other about being at sea. There's something else, there's something more involved. And <coughs> if you speak to uh, the majority of them, I think you'll find that people tend to pray an awful lot more when they're afloat than when they're, uh, when they're on shore. So I think that there is a, a, a holistic view to the blessing of boats as part of people's understanding of the power, the majesty, uh, and the all-inclusiveness of, of sailing. Well, I've been here just over a year. I arrived uh, just before Easter a year ago, and uh, it has been, fair to say, a fairly busy year. There's been a number of developments that uh, our two churches have had, uh, and in specifically Holy Trinity, the church for the sailors. Uh, one of the things we developed last year, or for the first time here actually, we had a service on Sea Sunday, uh, specifically for the sailors. Uh, and beyond that, and beyond Cow's Week and all the events of last year with the, uh, the bicentenary of the Royal Yacht Squadron and so on, um, it, the idea was also developed uh, for having a service at the end of the sailing season to uh, celebrate the, uh, the, the, the great news of the sailing season, all that had gone on in the year and the great blessings that had, uh, that had occurred and all the fun people had had sailing and the safety uh, as well, uh, as well as any, uh, any concerns and troubles there had been. Uh, the advertisement for the service went out all across the Solent and across the cruising clubs of the whole of the UK. Uh, we had a number of people from a variety of places, certainly around the Solent, as far north as Oxford <laughs> and, uh, and others as well. It was a very successful service. At the end of the service, we were certainly asked if we do it again this year. Uh, the answer, of course, will be yes, we will, and hopefully it will expand again. Um, but also, somebody suggested the idea of, of having maybe a season's opening blessing service to bless the new season um, before it starts. Um, and that's where we've come to where we are today. Uh, much planning, much thought, much decision on dates, 
uh, and the specific date, the 1st of May, sounds very auspicious and 6 o'clock in the evening um, sounds possible for all sorts of reasons but of course that particular time is a high tide here at the Trinity Landing uh, so there'll be plenty of room for, uh, for boats, yachts in the, uh, in, in, the, in the pool here at Trinity Landing and hopefully we'll fill that with yachts as a background, a backdrop to the service. And the service has developed on from just blessing the boats. We're now blessing the Cow's lifeboat, the Sheena Louise, uh, and also we're going to bless the season as a whole because Cow's is dependent upon tourism and the sailors uh, across the whole of the summer season. Uh, so we're going to be blessing a variety of elements of the season, but the season in, 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 in the round, sailors included. Thank you.